The new case in the normal distribution is the average mark of the students in an examination is 32. That means mu is 32. The minimum marks required to pass the examination is 40. That means if a student scores 40 or more marks then he is actually declared passed. If the result of the examination is 35% and find out number one standard deviation of the distribution number two if 40% of the failed students are to be re-examined find the minimum marks required to be eligible for appearing in the re-examination first of all 40 marks is the passing standard and result of the examination is only 35% let us draw the diagram Passing standard is 35 marks that means x marks should be 35 and that can be a somewhere on the right hand side. Passing standard is 40 marks and result is actually 35 percent. So here x is 40. Now these 35 percent students have passed the examination. The students who secured or scored 40 marks or more have passed the examination. The result is 35%. If the result of the examination is 35%, that means only 35% students have passed the examination. That means only 35% students have secured marks 40 or more. That means these are actually top 35% students. These 65% students have failed in the examination. The percentage of students who failed in the examination is 65%. But in the normal diagram, 65% is, okay, out of 65%, 15% is from the right hand side area and remaining 50% is from the left hand side area. This is the interpretation of the data directly available from the question. First of all, we can find the standard deviation. On the basis of this information, area 0.15, we can find our Z score through the reverse process from the table. 0.39. Yes, Z will be 0.39. It will be positive because it is on the right hand side area of the curve. On the basis of Z, now we can find out standard deviation. Z score equals to X minus mean divided by standard deviation. That means 0.39 equals to 40 minus 32 divided by standard deviation. That means standard deviation equals to 8 divided by 0.39. So, the standard deviation is approximately 19.51 what is it 20.51 20. 20. 20. not 19 Out of the students who appeared in the examination, 65% failed in the examination. Now what is the second question? If 40% of the failed students are to be re-examined, 40% of this, 40% of failed students, Forty percent of failed students. That means forty percent of sixty-five percent. That means sixty-five into forty by hundred. That means 
26% of the all students should be re-examined. 26% of all students who appeared in the examination. But which 26%? Our common sense says that the fail, out of the failed students who are the top 26% should be re-examined. That means this 15% as well as 11% students. These students should be re-examined. Because the students in the bottom of the mass can never be treated in parity of these students. If our policy is to allow only 40% of the failed students to appear in the re-examination, there must be topper out of the failed students. That is actually the interpretation. Now 15 and 11, total 26%. Yes, point. 1, 1, that will be the area for which we require to find out Z or Z score. 0.28. Now what? We require to find it Z actually. 0.28 equals to X minus 32 divided by our standard deviation 20.51 now this is case of just cross multiplication 0.28 into 20.51 5.74 that means our x is 32 plus 5.74 so, it should not be 5.74, it should be something else. Or it should not be 0.28. Yes, it is negative. So, we require to subtract the value, therefore x is 26.26, you can take approximate value of 26, if any student or rather if the student who failed in the examination has secured 26 or more marks or marks between 26 and 40, they should be allowed to appear in the re-examination. So the lowest or minimum marks required to be eligible for appearing in the re-examination. That is 26. At least 26 marks should be scored by the students to appear in the re-examination. 